Hey there, everybody. This is Millennium Jester. I'm back in with Pokemon Yellow. Well, anyway, we're here on the Seafoam Isle or Seafoam Islands. Sorry, there's two. Well, actually, it's just one island, but there's two K. I don't know. It's complicated. But anyway, we need to get in here. So let's do that. And I think I may have gone in the wrong way. In fact, I'm like 87 per or percent sure that I just did. But let's do what any normal person would do when they're in a cave and have our Pokemon use strength. Yeah, that's what they do, right? Sure, why not? Now this is actually to catch a legendary Pokemon. A legendary Pokemon? What's that? Is there like a Jesus Mon? Oh dear lord, no there's not. But still, that'd be cool. It would be really cool. Believe me. If there's anybody out there who wants a freaking Jesus mod, it's me. Alright, so pretty much the whole point of this cave is to go and push these boulders around to block the, uh, the channel or the sea current, sorry. Because, yeah, there's a sea current inside a cave. Who'd have thunk it? And once we drop down here, as you can see, the block we had there was, you know, blocking off the current but unfortunately it didn't seem to do anything so yeah let's just try to find the other block danger fast current well golly gee willikers that sounds horrible Ooh, a hole let's jump down it that's completely safe you gotta wonder where the kids and Pokemon learned their well smarts from I guess let's see there's there's a very fast current here I have an idea. Let's jump into a hole down below where we can barely see anything. Sounds good to me. Oh, Pokemon. You never cease to amaze me. Yeah, in case you're wondering, I'm using max repels because I really don't feel like fighting the wild Pokemon here. Because they're not worth it at all. And in case you're wondering what the wild Pokemon are, well, there's like, I don't know, Bulbasaur? No. <laughs> There is a, uh, oh dear, I can't even remember, uh, Seal, Dugong, slow, uh, Slowpoke, Slowbro, uh, if you're playing red or blue, I believe you can catch, um, what's it called, I don't even remember, you might not be able to, wait, I don't know, anyway, where are we, should try to get through this, that's what, that's what the main goal is, oh, and Zubat and Golbat and, you, you guys know those fun guys. Those those fun fun little Pokemon to hang around. That just tickle your fancy ever so much. Alright, let's move these blocks ever so gently down these holes. And as you can see, we now have the current blocked off. So we can go up here and... What the hell is that thing? I don't know. Well, if you're playing on a regular cartridge, you might want to save your game. If you're playing on an emulator, you might want to save your state. The times they are a change, but the saves they really aren't. Kaido! Apparently, this is a Japanese bird. Holy sweet mother of Jesus, it's Articuno. Yes, Articuno is actually quite a pain in the ass. Uh, cause I gotta try to kill it without killing it, if that makes sense. So let's slam it. Cause everybody knows that's what you do when you see a giant bird, you slam your body into it. And that's gonna do some damage, cause Articuno's the shit. So let's thunder, or thunder wave it. The main, the main goal is to try and paralyze or put them to sleep or whatever you do. And slam them. Slam them hard and slam them long. And I'm dead because Ice Beam is super effective. No, it's not. Wait, what am I saying? Pikachu, you suck. How dare you lose against Articuno's Ice Beam. I'm afraid to send out anything else, really, because, well, my Pokemon are kind of overleveled, so let's send out Slimcog. Let's see if he can Skull Bash him. No, not Blizzard. Yes, Blizzard actually does normal damage due to the fact that it's part flying. And he's fully paralyzed because he sucks. 
Let's use uh, Surf. Sure, why not? I can't think of a better move to use anyway. Hopefully, it does not kill it. Fuck! Damn it. Well, this is why we have saves. Or resets, actually. Ah, get out of there, mouse. All right, so let's 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 try that one more time. Except for the fact that I sucked. All right, let's catch this Pokemon. It's like that part in um. Oh God. Bruce Almighty, where he makes Evan Baxter talk all fucking crazy. Damn you birds in your ice beams. Don't they know how painful it is to the environment? No. 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 Pikachu. Bukachi. Yes, we will use the next Pokemon. You know what? We're going to use Bristle f for shits and giggles. Because we're going to hypnosis this bitch. Sleepy time, she comes. Oh yes, you don't like sleep, do you? Now I'm gonna headbutt you into submission. There, now he's in the red. Now let's, let's try to keep him asleep. No, 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 no. You just, just go to sleep. Jesus Christ. Oh dear Lord, this is bad. This is real bad. Um. They don't kill my status ailment inflicting Pokemon, so now I'm stuck with Slim Cog. Let's use let's use an Ultra Ball for shits and giggles. Nope, I missed. Yeah, with legendary Pokemon, you have a really high chance of missing. Bullshit! <laughs> Come on, game. Yay, we caught Articuno! Even though it only took like 47 minutes, or 7 minutes and 34 seconds. Anyway, a legendary bird Pokemon. Yes, it's it's quite accurate, aren't you, Pokedex? It freezes water that is contained in winter air and makes it in snow? What? So all the science behind snow is just lies and Articuno produces them? And no, we won't give Articuno a nickname, because Articuno's not going to be in our team. You know why? Because I don't like Articuno much. And please tell me I have Dig. Oh, no, I don't. Well, anyway, that was the first legendary bird, so I'm going to go and try to make my way back to, t or back to town with a whole team of dead Pokemon. And join us back here next time when we catch the other two. This has been Millennium Jester, signing out. Have a nice day.